All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So I think a lot of us had expected this, right? But now it's official, now it's in the in-game news, and guys, Global's next Dokkan festival unit is officially gonna be the LR Super Saiyan Blue Kakan Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. It says here, a new Dokkan event is coming soon. The Saiyans have unleashed their full power reign victorious in an epic clash against opponents who have given their all okay so in terms of the release date it doesn't say an actual date it says coming soon but i do expect them to drop uh, as soon as the thank you celebration ends which is the 4th of december so in approximately two days we should see their banner come out i could be wrong but that is most likely what's gonna happen and uh, real quick for anybody that doesn't know i'm gonna quickly talk to you guys about their details, their leader skill, passive, all that stuff. Okay, so LR Super Saiyan Blue Kaiken Goku or Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku Kaoken and Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Evolved Vegeta. Leader skill is the Desperate Struggle category, which is a brand new category or Joined Forces. E plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 150%. Super Attack, 12 key is Destructo Disc and Gallic Gun, which greatly raises Attack and Defense for one turn causes colossal damage and lowers attack and then their 18 key super is kamehameha and final flash which greatly raises attack and defense for one turn causes mega colossal damage and lowers attack and defense passive is attack and defense plus 70 percent plus an additional attack and defense plus seven percent per key sphere obtained chance of performing a critical hit plus seven percent and then key plus two and launches an additional attack up to three with with each rainbow key sphere obtained and then their active skill is key plus 24, attack plus 70%, and defense minus 50% for one turn. It can be activated when HP is 50% or less once only. Their links are Super Saiyan, Godly Power, Warrior Gods, Kamehameha, Tournament of Power, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And categories are Universe and Rival Saga, Realm of Gods, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Representatives of Universe 7, Joined Forces, Kamehameha, and desperate struggle so there you go that is everything uh, at least right now you need to know about the lr blue boys they are an excellent excellent unit still one of the you know better units in the game for sure one of the better lrs are they as good as some of the more recent ones like the str lr vegito or fizz buhan or what else uh, lr jiren for example no i don't think they're as good but they're still very very good i know a lot of people are excited for them have been waiting for them so if you guys are summoning then i wish you the best of luck i will be putting out a separate should you summon video later on just to do a more you know in-depth breakdown of their banner and all that stuff but for now i will say they are really good and also just a really exciting card right like it's super saiyan blue kakun goku and super saiyan blue evolution vegeta like you can't really go wrong with that but uh, we'll talk more about it in the future anyways um they're coming they are the next banner and uh yeah that's that's pretty much all there is to say oh oh actually there's a few more things in the news or just one more thing in the news i wanted to quickly cover so the other thing is uh, a new stage of a special event the magic girl fighters event and we're going to be getting two new uh free-to-play units the uh agl kakunsa as well as the into Rosie, so they're both getting token awakenings and a little bit later on they're both also going to be getting extreme z awakenings okay so let's uh, actually go over their details as well so for uh cocoon so oh actually rosie first her uh, leader skill after extreme z awakening it's going to be special pose category key plus three hp attack and defense plus 77 77 percent or int types key plus three HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack raises defense, infinitely stacking, supreme damage, and lowers defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 80%. Special pose category allies key plus 2, attack and defense plus 22%. Plus an additional attack plus 22% at the start of each turn and seals the attack enemy super attack when there is an ally whose name includes Rubrian or Kakunsa attacking in the same turn. Uh, links are Battlefield Diva, Metamorphosis. Uh, Innocence, signature, signature Pose, More Than Meets the Eye, Tournament of Power, or Shadow with the Limit. And categories are Peppy Gals, Universe of Rival Saga, Transformation Boost, Special Pose, and Space Traveling Warriors, which obviously is not going to be available on Global until Bojack comes out. And then, um, oh, that's it. So, 
Rosie, very good. Uh, Fatal Play unit um, with the Extreme Z Awakening for sure. And Kakunza is uh, just as good, if not even a little bit better. Actually, you know, I think Rosie's probably going to be more useful just because she stacks defense versus attack. Uh, but Kakunza is really good as well. Okay, so leader skill, special pose category, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or AGL types, key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack raises attack, causes supreme damage, and lowers attack, and passive is attack and defense plus 80%. Special pose category allies, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 22%, plus an additional defense plus 22% at the start of each turn, and high chance of stunning the attacked enemy's attack, or sorry, uh, attacked enemy when there is an ally whose name includes Rebrian or Rosie attacking in the same turn. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, she raises defense on her pass every, every turn, um, whereas uh, Rosie raises attack, but then she stacks defense, she raises attack. I mean, I think overall, they're both quite similar. They're both quite sim- they're both really good. Okay, they're both really good as long as you're running like a, you know, um, Peppy Gal's team or whatever with the Rebrian and Rosie and all that stuff. Should be fine. Um, Let's see, links, Battlefield, did I read the links? I'm gonna read the links. I don't really know, I, it's very late. My mind's not working properly, so <laughs> take a look. I don't wanna read them again, just in case I did already read them, but there they are. And uh, yeah, two excellent Extreme Z Awakenings for two very good free-to-play units. And then of course, uh, you know, the big news, LR Blue Boys on the way. Now, they are exciting. I know a lot of people want them, but keep in mind, before you splurge too much, before you blow your load on this banner, um, the LR Jiren banner will be right around the corner. Okay, it's probably gonna be dropping in like two, two, not two, uh, I was gonna say two weeks, maybe a week and a half, something like that. A week and a half to two weeks, I think, after this banner drops. And then there's also, actually maybe a little bit longer than that. It might be closer to Christmas. I'll have to check, but either way, Jiren is gonna be after the Blue Boys. There's also gonna be that uh, Tanabata banner where uh, they feature the LR Blue Fusions, Vegito and Gogeta, as well as a bunch of like other Dokkan Fest units. That banner is, is okay. Like It will have a couple of Dokkan Fest LRs, but at the same time, there's gonna be a lot of featured units, so I wouldn't recommend people to summon too hard on that one. But after, around New Year's, there's gonna be the Step Up banner for both Global and JP. So um, if you guys missed my video talking about you know this banner that everybody has to save for, go check it out, link above my head somewhere. Um, the step up banner is definitely a must summon for the average Dokkan player, especially if you're newer. So I do think uh, that's something you gotta keep in mind as well when you're deciding like how to allocate your stones between these different banners, okay? But anyways guys, we'll talk more about it in an upcoming video, most likely for that you know summon or not or pass or pull video that we make for the blue boys within the next few days, but for now, they're coming. Get ready if you want them. And uh, that's all I gotta say. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know in the comments down below if you're excited for the Blue Boys, if you plan to summon, and if you do summon, how many stones are you gonna be spending? And uh, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here, until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger, with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.